Here to talk about what's going on with Essential Collective Theatre, we have Rebecca Walsh. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you. Hi. Uh, great to see you. You had to make a difficult decision just recently. Tell us what that was. Well, with everything going on, we uh, did the responsible thing, and we actually did it back early in March. Um, we canceled our production of Do It, Don't Do It, don't do it. It was a, um, a play that we were doing at um, in downtown St. Catharines. We canceled the performances of that. And then as time went by and more things closed, we decided that it wouldn't be responsible to continue with the rest of our, our season, um, which includes uh, Senior Stories, which is a project we do, but we interview seniors in seniors' homes and then um, bring a production back to them, the play, so we've canceled that. And we have, um, we do a lot of new play development, but we can't do that at this time either because it, it involves uh, presenting it to the public so um there's not a lot we can do right now so we thought um like just financially we had to make the decision to shutter for the rest of the season so yeah it was sad and um yeah we lost a a lot of um actors a lot of um people lost their income so through that that's a very difficult thing for people in the theater industry. Luckily, the federal government came through with that emergency response fund. Mm -hmm. um, have, have you noticed or have you found out that some of you, the actors that are with ECT have been able to apply for that fund? Some of them have, but um, the thing about actors and most people that work in theater, um, they are contract workers, but generally, um, they do their contracts throughout the year and then um, work, say, in uh, as, as a waiter or a bartender or in a cafe uh, part time as well. So a lot of them um, would have been eligible if they were just contract workers or just working in cafes. But there is a little um, there's a problem because some people, these actors have to uh, are earning part time wages um, somewhere but not the not being able to kind of pay the rent and, and things like that. So there is a little, um, it's a, it's a different, different situation for a lot of actors than just straight up contract work or straight up, um, uh, you know, minimum wage job kind of thing. So yeah, some of them. <laughs> the government also came through, I believe it was the Ontario government with an announcement of uh, continued funding for arts groups to apply for, and is that something that might help ECT in the future? It doesn't help us. The um, if you're talking about the Canada Council, the Canada Council had a, a grant, but that is for um, core groups. And whereas we're a professional not-for-profit theater, you have to make seventy-five thousand dollars over three years and we just don't qualify. And it sh should be noted that most arts arts organizations don't qualify for that. I think there's just Carousel and maybe the Shaw Festival in our area that do. So um, we're working with some arts organizations around the country to try to figure out how we fit in. So we're still working on that. You also have something coming up online, this uh, quarantine cabaret. Can you explain that? And you're also at this point in time accepting submissions. We are. It's a. It's um. We thought since we're shuttered and we're not we're not working, um, we wanted to give back to the artists that, as I said, are at a very severe disadvantage right now and having no income. So um, we we generally for the past you know, maybe five years we've done something called uh, Vava Vaudeville where we get. Um, different, different um, artists, performing artists throughout the throughout the um, region, and we do a show, and that's usually a fundraiser for ECT. Now this year we've decided to do it online with submissions of different artists, jugglers, clowns, what have you, um, and uh, do it online. But the donations would go instead of to ECT, they would go directly to artists. So um, we're putting up a couple of uh, videos today and, and we're just getting submissions right now. And really anybody can submit. It's just a, a way to um, be creative during this time and also um, hopefully earn a few dollars. So even someone like myself with very little talent, I could gather my family together and do one of those family dance videos, submit. Absolutely. Please do. Uh -huh. So 
you, you said a couple of videos will be posted today. Will they be um, on your website? Will they be, be on YouTube? We just put out the call to uh, call for submissions, and people can see that on our Facebook page. Just search up the Central Collective Theater, and um, you'll see that. Uh, we have already received a few submissions, and we're just trying to put up as many as we can throughout the month of April. And this will all cum accumulate in an, uh, an online streaming event um, with host, a hosted event. And uh, during that time, we'll pick maybe four or five of them, maybe more, depending on what we can fit in, and then um, hold an event and, and uh, continue to fundraise that way. Excellent. And the website, ectheater.ca? ectheater.ca, yes. Thanks for joining us today, Rebecca. The date of that online event, May 1st? May 1st is, is correct, yes. Perfect. It's Rebecca Walsh from the Essential Collective Theater. Thanks for joining us. You're we'll return in just a moment. You're very welcome. Have a good day.